Welcome, 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 welcome back to E and D Live, where we go live every fortnight. Are you jamming? Are those your new headphones? I like them. <laughs> Is that just an animated GIF over there? Ooh. Oh, that's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was listening to music and didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah new new headphones nice i uh i was researching no i did not mean to research headphones i did not mean to but you did anyway i can't do so i had this idea for a show um and uh i needed some props right i need some props, right. and one of them was some like big cans wow that sounds like something else uh <laughs> some big case. large headphones you know reminiscent of the past you know like the 80s yeah. like you know you listen to some big headphones um but i can't just willy-nilly just buy anything so i was like oh well let me like, what kind of headphones do, like big headphones do people like to use nowadays big mistake rabbit hole I was just like YouTube video after YouTube video. And, um, mm -hmm. and I'm only using these as essentially a prop. Essentially. A prop. <laughs> they're, they're a usable prop. But now I've bought. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Uh, and I I don't want to even tell you how much money I'm holding here. <laughs> I'm not keeping them all. I'm I'm okay. sending them back, but I'm gonna okay. pick the ones I like best. And uh, okay, <laughs> so wow. stupid, but I don't know. So th are they all wired or Bluetooth or they're all wired? Yeah, yeah they're yeah. all wired. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I haven't really gotten into Bluetooth headphones. I, I have Bluetooth earbuds, you know, just for roaming around or sleeping or just I chilling. Have, but I, I think I have, I have some cheapy uh, Amazon earbuds, uh, Bluetooth earbuds. I never use them. It, yeah. It's one of those things that like you got to charge it, you know? Yeah, but what's cool about those is that you don't charge the the. I mean, you know, it has the built-in charger, right? It has the the little case. Yeah. You just put you your head. To remember to plug it in. Right. I mean, yeah, you still have to charge that. So yeah, it's yet another charging thing that another you have to deal with. So, yeah. But uh, but yeah, useful for you know just messing around. I'd never mix or do anything serious with them on, you know. But uh, um, and mine are so cheap that like if I bend over and it falls in the toilet, I'll just order another set. <laughs> Right, yeah. You know, they're not expensive. I don't, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which almost happened one time. But um, so uh, what are you looking for? Do you hear noises? I'm hearing noises. I, did, I hear that too. What is that? You have a leprechaun in there? It must be a cat outside the room, but it do, it sounds like it's coming from strange places. Weird. It's very weird. It's probably baby. He he hates closed doors. <laughs> weird. Franklin. His name is Franklin, but he always get, he just gets called baby. It's a very sophisticated cat name. <laughs> Franklin. Yeah. Ah, uh, it has a reason. He's he's named after FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> DR. Um, so uh, on the show today, we have some stuff. We have, uh, we're going to be. Uh, your stuff. Hey, there, there's stuff. And we're drinking stuff. I, I have a glass in my hand. That's a stuff. What you got, by the way? It's kind of dark. It's like a uh, uh, it's urine. A, it's a hazy IPA. Look at this. Autofocus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How novel. Um, it, it's a hazy IPA. It's it's called Bat Squatch. Bat Squatch. Yeah, nice. Hazy IPAs are new. Are the new um, 
all the all the rage in or they were a couple of months ago they're probably not anymore no it's like totally last month Mm -hmm. Mm. so um on this episode we have uh, we're gonna be talking about how we got stuck in the sand Ugh. Um, I mean, it's a funny story, but it's also like uh, Daryl being stupid. <laughs> yep. And um, we uh, uh, we're gonna show you some behind the scenes footage of the um, epic music video. Yeah, yeah, of the music video, and that we did. <laughs> it's still fucking that whole section. <laughs> fucking brilliant. <laughs> well done, Eric. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah that's oh, you know people ask like is that a real piano how'd y'all get a piano down there i'm like you know better than that like yeah we drove a you all this... down with a fucking baby grand right in this day and age the, the visual effects are so easy right? out onto the sand <laughs> yeah but uh we're gonna be talking about um this video right here and kind of we're gonna show some some shots of um what it looked like before we did all the the effects and you know all that kind of stuff but anyway and then um and then we have a story to tell on that one but uh also we'll talk about some uh, stuff that we watched this week um i watched some some primo stuff i want to talk about and then um uh we may have larry on the show so complete surprise he may pop in he may not i don't know yeah he does what he does he does what he wants and then um uh, and then we have um, uh, some other miscellaneous type things. But anyway, so how's everybody in the chat room, by the way? Hello, hello. Everybody doing good on this on this here Saturday night? Saturday night's all right. So my week has been crazy. I was sick all week. Oh, no. From last Friday to... Hello this friday to, for, to from like yesterday um and it always sucks getting sick right before the weekend so the you know the weekend that we didn't stream the show that was when i got sick and um oh and i was like man i hope i don't get like i hope i'm not still sick throughout this show because i didn't want to cancel it you know because we only do it like you know once a once every fortnight so it's funny when you when you called um, I guess that was earlier today, this morning-ish. When you called, I, I could kind of tell that you'd been sick. But now you sound fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can breathe through both nostrils. And um, so, yeah. I, and I had been sick um, since, like, 2019 or something. You know, ever since COVID was a thing. So, <laughs> and then all of a sudden I get sick. I'm like, I don't even know if it's COVID or not. Maybe it was. It doesn't matter really at this point. I got better, so um so yeah that's cool uh but then also during that week um my basement flooded again oh no Fuck. i know it sucks so, and this one saga this one was terrible too because this one like it, the rain didn't stop until morning until about seven in the morning and we can't just like clean up the water and go to sleep we have to keep cleaning water and keep siphoning until the rain stops because it's just going to keep coming. So we had, man, my back was so, so like today's the first day. My back's not sore. Mainly bending over. Yeah. Bending over <laughs> with my shop back. We have two yeah. shop backs and we have a bunch of those, um, sump pumps, mobile sump pump, you know, a little, you can just pick them up and put them wherever and then put it over here, you know, and then it was like emptying these big heavy buckets too, like bending over of water, like five gallon water jugs. And it was like all night long. And I'm used to doing this right here. Hold on. Here's my activity. <clears throat> sometimes the mouse. That's it. And sometimes if you can see it right there is my treadmill. That's because I sit here on the computer all day riding away. So I go over there and do that. And like all night, like all this rigorous stuff, I'm like, man, I'm so out of shape. I suck. <laughs> I need to like do something. But um, that showed me how how bad I was. So, um, but I had like no sleep, and I had a cold, and then like I had to call in work. I'm like, hey, 
here's what's going on. This probably totally sounds like a weird excuse or something, right? I mean, hopefully they didn't think I was lying, but that was the truth. I'm sick and my water, you know, water's everywhere and I had to stay up all night. It was insane. But uh, got it all done. And, um, you know, everything, this is my basement. This is what flooded. Everything I have on that side of the room floods. So everything is on stilts. Everything is lifted <laughs> above the ground. Yeah. Anything that's on the ground is like in a Florida coastline. Bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally, it's <laughs> like a on stilts. Yeah, it's like a bunch of Flo Floridian condos over there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, so that was exciting. And that was pretty much the last straw because we we're like, we cannot do this again. Like, this has to be it. So we called a guy to come remove two trees and dig a huge trench from the backyard all the way to the front yard. There's trees that are rotten and in the way anyway. We need to get them out of the way. So we just were like, let's just do it. We have to, like, you know, do something. Because every time it floods, we just, you know, say, man, this sucks. And we're just <laughs> emptying water. And that's all we do. And then the next time it happens, oh, this sucks again. And then we're just, it's like, we're not, you know, nothing's improving in our life. <laughs> but this time, we freaking got you, water. So went down. Mm -hmm. So that was a, that was an exciting week right there. Um, so how was your week? Oh, I just I had this editing project that just would not die. It would not end. <laughs> yeah, but finally mm -hmm. got it finished. The client was being very demanding, wanting a lot of changes. This 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 this. And I, I tried to, like, tell them, can you just collect all of the changes at once and then just, like, give them to me? And then I'll do all of them. Yeah. And then it'll be done. But it was more like, hey, change this. Changed it. Render. Send. Hey, change this. <sighs> change. Render. Send. Hey, change it. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, if they could just do it in one batch, you know, like. No. But, but you got it done. Got it done. So you're good to go too. Yeah. Cool. So now we can focus on our um our next project uh, that I, we talked a little bit about last last episode, our new um, music based series. Yeah. So it's gonna be awesome. And uh, oh yeah. You want to talk about it. so if Larry comes, we'll have to talk about this again, or maybe we'll just wait. Let's 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 show some behind the scenes stuff first. How about that? Let's do that because I watched something that Larry probably watched and you probably watched, but I want to keep it a secret, so I don't want to say anything more. Uh, okay, well, first of all, here let me let me let me cut back to this this spicy little number right here, <laughs> and. Um, so, uh, so th this was in Florida and, you know, we shot it, um, the same day that we shot the other music video on the beach, which was ween. our ween video. Yeah. Yeah. Ocean man. Yeah. And this, so this is the same beach and everything. Obviously it looks totally different because, you know, we just colored it differently. It was the same day, you know, but, um, and uh, I wanted to show the before and after shot of this scene, too, because um, Kim, my wife, was watching it. She thought that was a real sunset. <laughs> yeah. you know? and, it's like, and it's like, oh, man, y'all really got a good shot with that sunset. And I'm like, oh, thanks. You know, I thought she meant, like, you know, good, good job on the effects. And I'm like, oh, cool, thanks. And she's like, you know, as we keep talking, she was like, you know, I, I don't remember you guys were there, like, that late, like, you know, it's a good thing you you got the shots before it got dark. I'm like, oh wait, you mean no? That's not real. <laughs> um, Eddie, you gotta go. Freaking dogs again. Anyway, so uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, um, let me see if I have the. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, hold on a second. I made sure that this was all working. And uh, oh, oh, okay. Let's start off with this shot right here. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So we just had 
So that's the, me with my phone, and I had to play the song, and then yeah. I put it in my back pocket, and then I was just pretending <laughs> to play the piano. Um, we figured we would film this at a couple of different angles just to see like what would work, and if it just didn't work at all, then we would just cut to a close-up of him singing, and we have other shots of him singing anyway, so we're just like you know, whatever works, you know, if it, if it sucks, it sucks. But luckily the, the piano scene was actually pretty easy to, to, to do and it fit pretty well. So that the set, the other shot was, um, was this one where it's like a little closer. Let's see if it, all <laughs> right. It's like, okay. So that was kind of a close up shot, you know, it's kind of oh. skippy. Oh, it's like 4K. I guess it's um, being weird, but anyway. Oh, that wig is great. Yeah, right? <laughs> Freaking wig is great. Um, and here's a shot of the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flat. Oh, hey! Oh, Johnson! Yeah. Cheers to you, Johnson. Cheers. Oh, so this is a new thing I put up in the in the corner there, and it just kind of lingers and shows you the, the latest super chat. I just kind of figure why not, you know, it's a oh, thing you gosh. can do. It's pretty, yeah. It's pretty... His name was on there before. Uh he just now donated, but thank you so much. Um, he said, uh, cheers to a great show. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, it just sits there till the next person. Anyway, um, so yeah. This was, um, oops. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I'm coming out there and, uh, yeah. So Daryl gets the song on the, on his phone going and it's hard to hear because it's yeah, the it's ocean is loud breeze so, and the waves crashing. And so let you put it behind your leg. <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> nice. And then we're just like, all right long intro okay here let me let me just scrub okay and then there it is it's just us <laughs> jamming so we record the entire song um on this angle and then the entire song on a different angle and then a different angle and then we just edit them all together you know um and then uh there was something i did that didn't make the the cut but during the the guitar solo I switched. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I came up close and I thought that'd be cool, but our drone shots were way awesome. And I was like, oh, I had to just use all these. Um, and then, you know, after I was done jamming out, I jump, you know, ran back there and finished off the, the track. Um, here's a, here's a random shot of me. Oh, oh this is skippy because it's coming off of a, uh, external USB drive <laughs> and it's 4k. Okay. It's struggling, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, so it was overcast that day. It started raining after we were done and it was like, wow, what a perfect time it for that happen, to happen. Right. Uh, in fact, this was after we did the ween video because here is some footage of the ween video and see, as you can see, we're in the same spot <laughs> or we might've been a little bit different. We were a little further down. Yeah. But basically the same, same ocean. <laughs> um, <laughs> I kept behind my head. <laughs> we'll go crazy. And then we got this shot here, Daryl. Um, but yeah, the wigs were great. We were like really sweating after we were done though. I remember it was like really hot. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. And then we have, um, a couple of these, uh, these are kind of fun. Here's, here's Daryl and slow-mo slow -mo. and here is, let's see if I can, oh, Hold on a second. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Spinning around. <laughs> I can do that. Here's me in slow mo. So we just pulled our phones out and did the slow mo feature, right? The 120 frames a second, and just filmed a couple of little slow mo shots, and <laughs> you know, just kind of edited those. It's so dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> Got to use that hair, man. Mm -hmm. the, the phones really show off how blue the sky, like how nice and sunny it was, and or, you know, or at least bright. Mm -hmm. And of course, the video is like super dark and red. But uh, <laughs> there's Daryl's kick. <laughs> <laughs> I put like a little superimposed a little soccer ball or something. <laughs> put it in. <laughs> Anime. <laughs> soccer ball. But, yeah. Oh, that was it for your shot. Yeah, it's funny. I uh, I guess the second time I watched the, the video all the way through, I realized that your shirt changes. Um, My shirt? Yeah, you're wearing you're wearing two different T-shirts. Wait, I am? Yeah. I thought it was always Kiss, though, right? Oh, no, yeah, because uh, there's one time when you have the Macabre shirt. In this video? Yeah. What? Yeah, you've got a kiss shirt and you've got a McCabry shirt. Uh, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> what was it? Um, like the drone shots or something? Are you uh, positive? No, because I'm pretty sure there was a. The shot that I, I made me realize that was like one of the handheld things that I had done. Oh, really? But you know, we we shot it on two different days, so that's probably what happened. Oh, did we? See what what I realized, which I, I didn't see in the comments. I don't think anybody realized this, but here, let, let me uh, find a spot. Okay, no tattoos on and, my arm and, and McCabry shirt. Oh, you're right. McCabry shirt, no tattoos. Yeah. Go over here. Kiss tattoos. tattoos. Kiss shirt. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> so it was when I was out in the middle of nowhere. It was uh, during this, the epic uh, guitar solo scene. Yeah. So we weren't on the beach. This was an area that was... Um, it was the, the actual, the opposite side of the road from the beach. Yeah, it was just uh, a long sand dunes kind of stuff. Yeah, it looked cool because it looked very like desolate, deserty. Yeah. Oh, oh, and by the way, like this shot here, like this, uh, this stuff here, this was. Um, remember uh, September rain? Yeah. The music video. September rain. <laughs> uh let, let me see I, w I was wanting the whole time i was wanting to do a guitar solo like slash like how it, he's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere and it's just like this epic um you know epic thing here let, let me find it here yeah here we go yeah so see how he's just kind of out out in the middle of nowhere especially right there i mean there's obviously a church i guess they probably put that there but you know but that was the that was kind of what I was going for, and you know back then, of course, you had to you had to have a helicopter for these shots. But um, yeah, because because uh, you always like to point out like how the helicopter is blowing him around all crazy. Yeah, the dust is all over the place. Yeah, I want to get a copyright, so I'm trying to skip around. But anyway, you get it. Um, that was a uh, that was the inspiration behind. Um, behind this right here <laughs> but uh anyway so okay so the story is when we were here and we were shooting um actually this right here on the beach yeah we um we got a um okay so we were almost done and i think I went to the car to get something. I think it was uh, maybe my I sunglasses. Like yes, yes. Let's see. Was I wearing sunglasses right here? Yeah, I was wearing sunglasses. 
Was I wearing sunglasses? There, there's some shots where I'm not wearing sunglasses, and then I am. See, I never noticed that. Yeah. Let me go to the very beginning where you see my... Uh, I don't show my face yet. Because I'm the mysterious um, <laughs> racket player. Okay, right there I have glasses. Well, anyway, at one point I didn't have sunglasses, and I went to the car to get the sunglasses, and guess what I see? A cop! A freaking cop sitting at our... Okay, technically not a cop. It was a park ranger. Yeah, a park ranger with his lights on and everything. He's right behind uh, Daryl's rental car that he got that weekend. And, um... Oh, wait. Was I just saying September rain when I meant to say November rain? <laughs> <laughs> was I actually saying... <laughs> November. You, I don't. I, I don't think I even processed. So I do. I'm, I'm looking in the chat room and I'm like, oh, I think I did. September. What was sep September rain? <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm dumb. Um, that's like, a, and I'll, I'll never. We'll never stop getting comments on that one <laughs> aging male bands that says it's not sympathy of destruction. It's and I'm like, I know that. I just say dumb stuff sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, good old September rain. Next time it'll be like um, February rain or something. Okay. So, we co we go back to the car. We see the, the um, park ranger or whatever. And he tells us that, um, that we can't park there because it's a uh, nature reserve or something. And that we're on restricted area, and we gotta, we gotta head out. We gotta go. And I, I'm like, I got my wig on and stuff, and I'm all like, I'm like, all right. He didn't even ask. And I'm like, well, we're just shooting a video over here. And I'm like holding my racket and everything. And I was like, oh well, you know, we're just, we just thought it was okay, just to, you know, just uh, record this thing real fast and blah blah. And he's like, well, you know, I'd give you a ticket. But uh, but but you're here, and I'm I'm letting you know. If you weren't here, I'd have to give you a ticket. I'm like, okay. So, um, <laughs> Mandy, Eric's all good. If he if he serenades us, he knows he'll be three sheets to the wind. Yes, that's true. No, I'm. This is like one. That's all I've had today. Anyway. So I was like, all right, all right. So we go, I, I run back to Daryl and I tell him, well, we basically just kind of finished our shots. We're just like, I mean, what's he gonna do? Turn back around and, you know, and like arrest us or something? I mean, I don't know. It seemed like the damage was already done. Plus he, he gave us a ticket. He's like, well, sorry, I gotta write out this ticket to you. And I'm like, well, so we, we just paid for the right to shoot the rest of our video then. That was our entrance, our entry fee, <clears throat> or our parking fee, or whatever. So, yeah, we just were like, yeah, whatever. I put my glasses on and we went back to shooting. So all those shots with me and the glasses in the on the beach are after we were told to leave. <laughs> you know what? This reminds me. Uh, the the other day, I was watching this YouTube channel called Gaffer and Gear. Uh -huh. um, it's this. Uh, this Australian gaffer. Okay. So you know he's and he's always talking about lighting fixtures and you know, does reviews of lighting fixtures and whatnot. Anyways, he was talking about uh, instead of getting a permit, they just illegally parked because the illegally parking fine is less than getting a permit. Oh. <laughs> it's filmed from on top of their van. Uh, oh, nice. No, 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 they weren't filming. No, he wanted to put a light. And to put a light, like, on a stand on the sidewalk, they'd have to get a permit. Uh, uh, instead, he parked his van right in front of where they wanted, um, which was uh, an illegal parking, and he put the light on top of the van, shooting through a window, and, you know, it was just cheaper to pay right. the Right. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a point. It just comes down to, you know, what's cost effective, you know? It's like so it's funny. We did the same thing. Yeah, totally. I didn't even know about that, but that's a good idea. I have to remember that one for the future. Yeah, and thank you, Fidel. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. 
Fidel Cerda. Cerda. Cerdo. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, but that's how I pronounce it. I pronounce your name September Rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. So that was that. Was that um, it was an actual ticket. We had to pay it. Um, I forgot to take a picture. I meant to film it or take a picture. And I had my, my hand on my camera, or my phone, and I was holding it while I was talking to the guy. And I was like, man, I wish I could like figure out how to turn it on and hit the camera and roll it because i wanted to record what he was saying i wanted to record the whole conversation because i imagined at some point i'd be telling the story on the live stream and i'd play it back for you but i i couldn't do that i thought i was recording i double tap i, I need a quick way to do that i need a little sneaky camera um i'll have to work on that my sneaky cam techniques uh Nathan asked, uh, Eric, what do you do with the money people give you? Um, oh, it, it goes to both me and Daryl. We, we, we cut, we split everything monthly, like what, what we get. And we, um, most times we, we just let it save. We, we just let it collect in a bank account. And then when me and Daryl go on a trip or like the Florida trip, like the one we're talking about completely paid by you guys. Yep. Like it was all ad revenue money paid for our condo paid for our food i mean everything the whole thing yeah it yeah good. it was super epic so so any money that is donated right now is just being collected until we use it for something because we both have jobs we don't you know like th this is to power the channel right to like we bought equipment with it before um yeah so it basically goes right back into the channel just to do something for it to make it better or to yeah so and we totally appreciate it because we could do this and this is fun <laughs> uh anyway so um oh and and we just got a subscription to trello so we can we can track and manage all of our videos and stuff going forward so that it's also going towards uh software subscriptions <laughs> um but uh, anyway, so how about the uh, the the time we pulled over? So we're driving around. Rewind to before we even shot these videos. We're driving along up and down this this strip of sand. Yes. And we're trying to find a good spot that looks like an epic place to shoot. Yes. That um, not the beach, but the you know, like what I just showed you, like the um. No, uh, we were trying to, this was the next, or not the next day, but this was days after we shot the the Ween video. No, 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 because that was the same day. Um, we shot uh, the Dune stuff first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget the the, the and order of everything. Yeah. Three days later, we were like, okay, we're gonna go finish this music video and then i was like oh and we're also going to shoot another video yeah right um, so yeah it, so it was that day we had, to, yeah. we had to get it all in the can so we're we drive down to the beach we're on the strip it's the section where it's a national park mm -hmm. and we drove all the way down and out of it turned around came back in Cause I was like, Oh, that might be a good spot. You know, Oh, th this might be a good spot. So we came back in and like, Oh no, I think the good spot was back there. We got to turn around. Yeah. <sighs> and then what did the awesome Daryl do at that point? <laughs> now look, <laughs> stupid. Yeah! Man, <laughs> thanks darling. thanks mandy she's our mod she didn't you don't have to do that but thank you yeah she says how are your mamas seriously they rock <laughs> <laughs> uh actually oh dang you know i need to i need to prepare a video um to show you guys i that i did not prepare 
for tonight, but I recorded my mom receiving her her Christmas present, which was the END t-shirt, the Master of Racket shirt. And I gave it to her and I recorded the whole thing. And <laughs> that was back at Christmas. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. I gotta show you though. I gotta I gotta maybe I'll get that ready for after the break. After Did you um it on? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally awesome. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll have to uh I have to prepare that for you. <laughs> so, anyways, back to this tragic story of <laughs> Daryl being stupid. Um, <laughs> posted everywhere are signs saying you know, do not get on shoulder. The sand is soft. <laughs> and you're like, screw soft sand. <clears throat> but here's where my head was at in that moment. Okay. I was like, yeah, I, yeah. Shouldn't, yeah, don't pull off the road here. I get it. That's cool. But then I see this area and it's kind of like, it's bigger than the rest of it. And there were tire tracks. So it looks, it looked like, oh, well, this just happened to be one area where the ground was firm and people had done this. Right. So I was like, okay, I think this is the spot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, that sounds like it's. I was mistaken. Like thought process. Yes. Well, uh, I decided to uh, whip out my old trusty phone camera and record it all. So uh, here's what happened. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> God for rednecks in big old trucks. Yeah. So we were kind of sitting around. He was spinning his tires. <laughs> And, um, we're just, I mean, that's all it, it, you know, kicking up sand. I'm just standing there like, Hmm, cars are driving back and forth seeing this. And then finally one pair was like, man, we got to help them out. Oh, uh, was it that, a guy the, and a girl and they were both car, yeah, the car that first pulled up. They were, uh, soused. <laughs> yeah. Three sheets. Ooh. <laughs> Oh man, y'all stuck. Jeez. I know we can, we're, we're going to help. And the guy was like super animated. He was like all about helping out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And they're like, they didn't really, I don't know. They were saying stuff like, uh, take your floor mat out from your inside your car and put it underneath the tire. And that, that way it can grip. I was like, mom, 
sounds like a cool idea. Totally didn't work. Um, he was trying all kinds of different things. And then finally, um, uh, another guy pulls over. We're like, well, it's just stacking up now. And that was the giant truck. Yeah. And he was like, oh, he's done this before. And, you know, he already knew what to do. He's like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, pulled out that thing and hooks it up to the little ball in the back of the truck, whatever that's called, you know, does the whole thing. And he's like, oh, I've, I've helped out a ton of people before. Cool. Okay. So uh, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, man, those guys were, whew. Real southern, not even southern, just rednecks. Over. Hey. Well, you know, here's to the kindness of strangers. Yeah, yeah, and it was fun actually. Everybody had a good time. <laughs> Makes for a good video. Yeah, <laughs> so that was excellent times. Um, anybody else get stuck in that? Is there is there a, a good way to uh, get out of the sand? Is there a trick to that? Uh, any sand dwellers here? Any uh, Tuscan Raiders? Because like, Tuscan you know, <laughs> because like if there's not, because <laughs> like if there's no person to help you, then like, what do you do? You know, See, I'm sure there's why they uh... ride Banthas, because Banthas <laughs> don't get stuck in the sand. Right. True. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's see. Norman, Larry, come on the show, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, so did Larry get get a, get a hold of you or say anything back? I sent him the email and I've texted him. Okay. He's just going to pop in probably and surprise everybody. Um, scare us. You can jump out of nowhere. He he called earlier, and he and his family were on their way to a Korean restaurant. Oh, with a bunch of Chinese people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> a Korean restaurant. Yeah. Which apparently, uh, they've got them in Huntsville now. Um, it's uh, Stone Age. It's a Korean Stone. barbecue. Where you cook your own stuff. We've got a couple oh, really? of them here in Atlanta, but um, apparently they've opened up in Huntsville. Because they were. Stone Age. I, t I took Larry to a Stone Age here in Atlanta. Um, first time he'd ever been to a Korean barbecue. Um, I love doing shit, shit with, like that with him because like he's such a non adventurous eater. <laughs> I've been telling him for the last 30 years that he eats like a six year old. Like, you know, chicken wings or chicken tenders. Yeah, and Twizzlers <laughs> and like, <laughs> um, yeah, little candies and. So I always like nuggets. take them out to like, like sushi restaurants or Korean barbecue or you know, places like mm -hmm. this and try to push his culinary bounds. So I haven't eaten dinner, and this is like looking really good. <laughs> Stone Age is the new age of Korean barbecue. Okay. Well, Tonight, that cool? I made the menu. a meatloaf. Oh, you made a meatloaf from made scratch? Meatloaf. From scratch, but not just any meatloaf. It was actually a turkey meatloaf stuffed in the middle with um, broccoli and shredded cheese um not piccolo romano but um parmesan mm -hmm. shredded parmesan oh yeah and it was fucking brilliant it's from uh buff dudes you know buff dudes that that workout channel Ugh, yeah. buff dudes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the cookbook and i bought it um and it's one of the recipes it's it was so good so nice good amazing they got more drinks than they do food it looks like oh. <laughs> i mean holy crap you know those koreans they like to drink man they got everything on that beverage uh menu holy crap holy crap man <laughs> okay well i don't know what i'm gonna order what should i order 
So what is it? So three to eight year olds. Is that what uh, Larry orders from? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> he gets that. Oh, that's cool. and I, I made fun of him tonight because I was like, yeah, you're probably only going to eat the chicken, aren't you? He's like, <laughs> no, I'm going to. I'm going to really stretch my bounds. I'm going to eat the chicken and the steak. Uh, weak. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's very meaty. <laughs> it's just mostly meat. Well, yeah. <laughs> mm. Durr. Durr. You can barbecue veggies. You can. <laughs> And they're quite good. Drink mm. sake. Is that how you spell sake? I don't know. Anyways, yes, I've had sake. Rice a wine. Ugh. How do you spell sake? So, like sake? Is that like a, a sake? S-A-A-I? Oh, no, that's a British writer. Sake. Ah, there we go. Sake. How do you spell it? Oh yeah, it is like sake. Yeah, sake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like sake or like um, uh, like uh, what you call it? Socrates. Socrates. <laughs> Socrates. I think it's Socrates. <laughs> I like that. With the P, sake. 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 I like the um. Yeah, uh, the the chick, the girl. <laughs> I, like hot, I like hot sake. <clears throat> Especially uh, when it's that really sake. buttery sake. That's when it's really good, hot. Sake. Chitlins. Chitlins. Sake to me. So, common. Common sake types. <laughs> the Jinshu sake. <laughs> Stupid. Jinji Shu. I don't know what I'm even looking at anymore. <laughs> Jinju sake. I don't like sake. I don't know. It's weird. What was that? The last time somebody tricked me into it, probably. <laughs> Here, try this. It's uh, you know, lemony or something. You know, and they're like, "Oh, really? Okay." Yeah, but you you like white wine now? Oh wait, I'm thinking about the um, that little green stuff that's super hot and spicy. You know, that's what. Oh, this is like a drink. I was thinking it was the sauce. What is that stuff that you always oh, trick people into about, eating? Uh, wasabi. Wasabi, that's what I, wasabi, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, sake, oh, then I don't think I've ever tried it. It's like a wine, a Korean wine or something. Japanese. Yeah, rice wine. Oh, Japanese. It's made from rice, rice wine. Oh, okay. Uh, Larry just texted. Hey. Apparently, his internet is out. Oh. They say from the storms. Even though really? it's not raining there anymore. Yeah, it's not raining. Well, that's weird. Hmm. <laughs> There's some weird freaks in your walls. No, is this? Can you can you see that? Can you see it like right here? I, I don't know if it's um, just more from the tight pattern on on my. Oh, uh, okay. I don't see it though. Yeah. <clears throat> huh. Weird. Nathan's like BS, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> BS. Well, put it past him. <laughs> um. Well, you know, I was gonna wait for him to join before we start talking about some of oh. these uh, some of these shows. Let me pull up the. Um thing uh but you know we still can and see if he joins us after the uh intermission if not then hey whatevs that's true we'll, uh, we'll just uh jump into it anyway uh let's see was there anything else on my list here 
that I wanted to talk about. And then we have just a few minutes. Um, oh, yeah. Um, this is new. This is something I've never done ever in my life. <laughs> As I started oh. uh, a, a diary. And, and it's cool because... God, it looks like a fucking phone book. Yeah, th these are the months. So you can you can find, you know, what... You know what I mean? You can you can easily find what what month, what day, or whatever, and then just write anything. It's just a, a simple, dumb like. I mean, it doesn't need to be a book, but I just thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, you know, um, actually, um, I was listening to David Sedaris talk, and and he was saying that's kind of how he started writing. Yeah, he, he just finally decided. Oh, he was just going to write in a diary every day, and it could be. Yeah, it could be like. Don't put much pressure on yourself. It could just be like the smallest of little detail. Like, oh, you know, I, I I saw a green truck drive down the street today. Yeah. You know, whatever. Anything. Yeah, yeah. Just as That's how I trade it. Something. There's no rules. I'm not going to sit there and, dear diary, today, <laughs> you know, like, it, it's none of that. It's like, um, I mean, none of this is going to be in focus anyway, but like, you know, this D&D live. Yeah, this is D&D live. Oh, I like that. What is that? Two? Is yeah, it, that, was two, two, that was two, 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 two. Oh, uh, on the two, two, two day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's just whatever, you know, like I, I throw some dreams in there. I had a crazy dream the other night that I was in New York City and People were trying to bury two Black Hawk, um, Black Hawk uh, helicopters um, underground in order to ignite them. They're going to blow them up. And I'm like standing there on the corner, like filming. I'm like, any day now, like, what is it going to happen? And then I was thinking, <laughs> oh, wait, is this going to be crazy? And I'm looking around and I'm the only one standing there. And I'm like, I should stand back. So I, I take off walking down the street and I'm like holding my thing here and I'm like walking and I'm like, I don't want to miss it. Cause like, what am I going to see the ground go or I'm what? Like, why would you explode a bunch of helicopters on the ground? Like, this is so weird. And I have to film this because no one else was filming it. And then I find I woke up before it happened and I was like, that was, what was the point of that? So I wrote that down. So it's whatever. <laughs> I mean, I still don't have any clue. But then when I look in the news, um, two two Black Hawk helicopters went down on the two 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 day, and I was like, I hadn't heard of that. Yeah, it was like, well, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, but um, but yeah, so it's kind of cool. So I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see how far I can get into it. Um, uh, after writing it, I kind of wish I got one that was a. Uh, like a spiral spiral bound. So I can just open it all the way and it's easier yeah. to write, but I had no idea. Cause I've never written, I had a journal before or anything, but I don't know. It was something to try. I think you I, should start each passage with dear diary. Dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm almost out of that. Dear when I'm out of this, we're going to a freaking break. Every day is the same. Dear diary, I wrote in my diary today. <laughs> Dear diary, I wrote in my diary today. And then you can change it up. Dear diary, tomorrow I will write on you. <laughs> <laughs> I will write inside you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> hey, your mom's here. Hey. Hi mom. <laughs> I see I, hi boys. <laughs> Did you hear my dream? Do you know what that is about? Because I don't. <laughs> In your dreams, it's still the same. Those helicopters <laughs> are buried today. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Something similar happened. I think me and oh, me and Kim were cleaning out the the uh the fridge the other day and then today she was like 
man, it's so nice that we clean the fridge out. You can really see what, you know, what you have, right? He's like, and then, I, and then, uh, or no, she was something, she was saying something like, uh, you really don't know what you <laughs> have until you, and I was like, I don't know what you got don't until you know. clean out the fridge. You know, it's like, <laughs> but yeah. Those metal ballads, they're just useful all around. I'm sure there's some sort of uh, a food parody that Weird Al could do. Don't know what you got till it's gone. Everyone's saying hi to my mom right now. Eminem cleaning up my fridge. Yeah, um, what was the living in the fridge? What was the the, um, the fridge one? Aerosmith parody. That living in the fridge. Uh, there was no actual um, video for this, was there? This is like some weird. Like fan made video or something. Oh yeah, it actually says fan video. <laughs> like creepy though. He's looking like Sub Zero or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. He can see his mouth moving. Living on the fridge. And he's all blinking. That's weird. Blink, <laughs> blink, blink. Hmm. Yeah, it's um. That's pretty terrible. Anyway, all right. Well, you know, I I guess we're gonna go to intermission and we'll see if our good friend larry wants to join if he can if he can yes you know if he's got a phone oh i mean right you just go to the url hey guys i'm on my phone right cell towers didn't go down that's true yeah, there's options. We'll see. We got uh, uh, about 15 minutes or something like that on our, um, on our, uh, you know what? I don't think I reset the time. The time might not be accurate on our countdown for the, <laughs> for the intermission. I think it might be two minutes slow. Oops. Anyway, can't do it now. There's no turning back, everybody. But enjoy our uh, sponsors from the 80s. Uh, there's some uh, new surprises in there. There always is. So we will see you on the other side. We'll be right back. The fun is back, as you can see, with the 2600 from Atari. Still under 50 bucks, but wait, there's more. There's a stack of new games at the video store. In real sports boxing, the action's rough. If you're gonna make it, you got to be tough. Hey, we're back. <laughs> I totally didn't change it to this week's, uh, that was last week's uh, intermission. I know, right? It was uh, crazy stuff. I get, I get, uh, I get one of those. Okay, this is for real this time. We'll see ya in a minute or er, fifteen. Everybody do that kick. America's favorite health kick milk. 
Last time we left Sunny lost in Cuckoo Town. I've just got to get home. Even in Cuckoo Town, I can't resist the delicious taste of Cocoa Puffs, the chocolatey part of this complete breakfast. Oh, now it's raining Cocoa Puffs. I'll be swamped in munchy, crunchy, chocolatey Cocoa Puffs. I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, hey, I'm back home. Oh, Sunny. Oh, no. Here we go again. Mama thinks it's special. How do I know? Because my Skippy tells me so. Of all the national brands, only Skippy has both high protein and less sugar. Glad my mama put Skippy in Ireland. Skippy for good nutrition. Back-to-back -back episodes of Growing Pains, beginning 6.05 Eastern weekdays on TBS. Fiesta! Don't forget, there's a fiesta going on at McDonald's, a Chicken McNuggets fiesta. Come enjoy our three new Chicken McNuggets fiesta sauces and collect real south-of-the-border coins. But hurry, the fiesta ends soon. Fiesta! sugar-free jello jelly and you are gonna give in give in give in to the taste cool and refreshing deliciously tempting this is sugar-free how can it be give in give in give in to the taste new sugar-free jello gelatin is sweetened with natural tasting nutra sweet and it has just eight calories new sugar-free jello gelatin Three days of gigantic savings at Circuit City's big three-day sale. A great value. This GE 13-inch color TV is reduced to a low $149. Plus, save through Saturday on this programmable VHS VCR with remote control. Just $174. Gigantic savings through Saturday at the big three-day sale. Circuit City, the intelligent choice. It's Mickey's biggest birthday ever. But where's Mickey? Join in the search with your favorite star. You still can't find the poor little guy? On the magical world of Disney, Sunday. that work like phones are supposed to work, stick with the first-class phones of AT&T. It's okay. It works. Just one Cocoa Krispies taste sends you to this chocolatey place. A jungle team in chocolate that goes snap, crackle, pop a lot. Cocoa Krispies taste so fine. It's like swinging from a cocoa van. In a chocolate waterfall. Here at Coco Tropical. Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies, part of this complete breakfast. Get that Cocoa Krispies taste. Leave a chocolatey smile on your face. Snap, crackle, pop. Cocoa Krispies. I 
and the He-Man. Call She-Ra and me at 1-900-909-2233. We'll journey to distant worlds, explore the universe. And probably battle Skeletor along the way, huh? Probably, Orko. There's a new adventure every day. We'll also tell you how to get an action figure or this colorful poster. Part of your $2.35 two-minute call will go to local science museums. Get your parents' permission and call 1-900-909-2233. I have the power! Wednesday. What happened to your eye? You get in a fight with somebody? No, I kissed somebody. Growing pain. It comes a time in life when you gotta take a chance. And oh, are raisins supposed to have legs? Dennis brings new meaning to food for thought. You're like a recurring nightmare. Head of the class after Growing Pains, Wednesday. Richard Chamberlain. In search of a legendary fortune. In search of danger. Great reflexes, boys. In search of a beautiful damsel in distress. <laughs> For the first time on television, King Solomon's Mines. Tonight's 8 o'clock movie special on Channel 2. It's your call. You can enjoy the fresh-baked quality from Domino's Pizza or take your chances. <laughs> with the Noid. You can have pizza made to your order, or... You can count on our famous 30-minute delivery, or... You can taste the quality from Domino's Pizza, so avoid the Noid. Domino's Pizza delivers. Call now. now. We'll return after these messages. There he is. What a happening dude. There's a super party animal. Yeah. His name is Fox McKenzie. Fox McKenzie. A barbecue inside. Do -do -do, a barbecue. And a cold Bud Light. A cold Bud Light. Puts him in a party frenzy. In a party frenzy. He's Fox McKenzie, Bud Light's original party animal. Ghostbusters go. Ghostbusters go. Ghostbusters go. But you really cooking now. All right. If dinner gets a little too attached to your grill, reach for the ultimate cleaning machine, SOS. Nothing cuts the dirt on grills, white walls, or golf clubs faster. SOS, the ultimate cleaning machine. You'll get it. Do it one more time. works making me really hungry. McDonald's introduces Super Summer Sizes. Laughs around the pool make me so thirsty. Large and large mega servings of icy Coca-Cola, golden fries and thick milkshakes, but for a limited time only. So drive through today. Serve it up summertime at McDonald's. Thursday, Dad's having a midlife crisis. Count Daddy's gray hairs. How about I count the black ones? And on a different world, Dwayne plays in a dream game <laughs> with some basketball legends. Then on Cheers, Woody elopes, throwing caution out the window. And Andrea, Norris becomes a wild animal trainer. And he seems to heal pretty well. You'll be surprised. Special two-hour preview of China Beach. So many people drinking Diet Coke and seeing Steve Martin and Daryl Hannah's new movie, Roxanne, it's as plain as the nose on your face. Just for the fun of it, just for the smile of it, Diet Coke, just for the cool of it, the love of it, the taste of it.
Bill Cosby on great film developing. This is my dog. We lost best of show at a big dog show. It was a sad night. He was very upset. I took some pictures, remember? Huh? Well, now you don't think I'd take them just anywhere to be developed. Here, come on, look at them. Ask for the Kodak Color Watch system. This Color Watch seal says only Kodak products are used for great developing. He's still upset. I show him the pictures. He says, Arf, Color Watch, you're going to thank me for it. A double pleasure's waiting for you. A double pleasure from Double Miss Gum. A double great feeling. Making you realize Double Miss the one for you. Double fresh. Double smooth. Double delicious to chew. A double pleasure is waiting for you. Double Miss Gum. A double pleasure is waiting for you. Double Miss Gum. It's yours? No, I Your mother said she found it in your closet. I don't know. One of the guys must have... Must have what? Look, Dad, it's Where not... Where did you get it? Dad, I... Answer me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Parents who use drugs have children who use drugs. Next. Take the flag down. The protest heats up. The Mancuso explodes. What the hell went on down there? Where do you stand? An important Mancuso is next. NBC Sunday double feature. First two boys who want to fly. Lundberg couldn't make it. Trust their lives to a has-been pilot. Ready? James Whitmore in Sky High. Then, a mysterious murder in Europe leads to two beautiful suspects. Let's go. And all new Perry Mason, the case of the desperate deception. Following Sky High on NBC double feature Sunday. That's who. Dead's a super party animal. His name is Buds McKenzie. When the sun shines bright on a cold but night, he's in the party frenzy. He's Buds McKenzie, the posh pooch of pop culture. Go, Spuds, go. Spuds, you're an animal. Go, go, Spuds, go, go. No doubt about it. Hey, hey, hey. Well, wasn't that special? I learned it by watching you. <laughs> what a weird. The guy wouldn't even let his kid talk. He was like, answer me. And he's like, uh, uh, but, but, uh, 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 what? Where, where, where did you get this? Uh, I think I got from. No, tell me something else. <laughs> and then he's like, Twisted Sister. <laughs> what? what? I don't want to rock. <laughs> mm hmm. Then I had the Marlon Brando at the end with the voiceover. And then the dad wakes up the next morning with a decapitated horse in the bed. <laughs> right. And he's like, oh, man, things are really taking a turn. You know, parents who use drugs, they have, they have kids who use drugs. 
<laughs> freaking Jack. Um. Uh, uh, let's see. What? What? Where are some oh, comments? Thing. House, what up, my nigg Oh, Caleb. Yeah. yeah. What up? The old Thurman. The old Thurman. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl's aversion to ring ring necked tees fascinates me. <laughs> he hates them. Oh, I He's a ring neckist. I need a, I need a little breathing room. <laughs> and I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck what anyone <laughs> thinks about it. <laughs> so piss off. Especially in these, it's you have a plenty of room there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. which you have to, right? It's like oh, that. Oh. It's mandatory. Yeah, it, it really know. the the length of your V corresponds directly to the length of your hair. <laughs> oh. oh, I see. So you have to measure it out, right? And then you measure the hair, and you're like, okay, yeah. everything's perfect. This length, it, see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And when your hair is down to here, plunge. It's plunge. Got a plunge. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, no, no, no. My hair is real short, so I guess mine is about right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I haven't shaved since last week. Not that it's really bushy or anything, but I'm starting to feel it. In two weeks, I'll really feel it, and I'll be like, should I really shave it, or should I actually? Yeah, at some point, it's just like there's a threshold that it's just overnight. All of a sudden, it's just like bush. It's weird. Bush. I'll I'll see what happens. He's got Uh, all over his face. (laughs) <laughs> well larry's not here so no well, i guess we could go ahead and just talk Once about he, is, uh, he leaves his public wanting mm-hmm. but you know hey actually uh what i can do is uh, i was talking to you guys about um my uh mother getting the um oh yes the t-shirts getting the t-shirts yeah so here let me uh let me cue that up <laughs> oh nice that's pretty awesome pretty up went ahead and found it before the break let's see if i can uh make this happen and uh why not hey mom if you're here <laughs> uh okay so if you missed if you just tuned in E and D live. Um, I gave my mom the E and D Master of Rackets shirt for Christmas, and um, let's see if uh, uh, let's see. You can go to Eric and Daryl uh, shop, and uh, I'll show it to you if you haven't seen it. I think most people in the chat room right now already own this shirt. A ton of people have bought this shirt. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's the shirt. And um, where's Daryl wearing the shirt? <laughs> Something um, really interesting right over there. Yeah, there was something interesting. He has rackets on his wall. He is the master of rackets. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully there's sound. And uh, so for Christmas, I gave it to her. Here it is. You shouldn't have to buy it. <laughs> Those are soft. Get the tag off. Oh, there. man. Yeah, it's super soft. <laughs> <laughs> that looks perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
I gotta go show Auntie. I have, yeah, I have yours in the trunk for some reason. I brought it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's so fucking amazing. What really makes it amazing is putting into perspective history wise, like, you know, like never in a billion years, let alone the 30 years that it, it took, <laughs> would any of us have thought that one day <laughs> all this hoopla that we're doing, you're going to be wearing that fucking t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. It's funny. Oh, so <laughs> hilarious. Oh, man. So yeah, she has the shirt now, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a crazy soft shirt. They're like, "Wow, why is this so soft?" It's like a tri blend. Tri blend. I love um, tri blends. Yeah, yeah, but uh, that's awesome. Yeah, so like, I really need to get over there and uh, film just some some more stuff. You know, I don't know. Well, I need to come into town, and your mom needs to take us to McDonald's. I know. Yeah, yeah, we need to do the McDonald's video. And then like, and then sitting around watching like, like hair metal videos or something. I don't know. Like, you know, include her into a Beavis and Butthead type situation. And we'll just all just joke around, right? Like, I don't know, to see what we get. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's the aging metal bands or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Oh, here comes another dog. So, uh, watching something, huh? You, you, I have been watching something, a few things. Yeah, and Which here I'm, I'm gonna pull up the, a picture. Me. Lay it on me. Come on. Okay, so, I watched a, I watched a couple movies this week, but this one was interesting. Let me pull up a little imagery of it. And, uh, yes. So, have you seen Free Guy? Oh no, no, no! It's on my list. I it just it was released on HBO. So yeah, it was just on HBO. Yeah. So I got to watch it. Yeah, um, yeah. It looks it looks fun. It looks good. I've heard good things. Yeah, yeah. It was super fun. It's it's um, without spoiling it. Basically, you get it with watching the trailer. It's um, it, it's uh, it's like it, it's like a. Yeah, right. Yeah. I Which I remember his name. Uh Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I I'm a um what? Isn't that his name? Yes. September Rain. Anyway, I have I, I'm a Mint Mobile customer, by the way. Are you? Anyway, is it yeah. Do, do you pay fifteen dollars a month? No. I pay three hundred a year. And I've done that uh, for a couple of years. I've had it since like twenty 18. You got to make me do the math. What does that break out to? I don't know. Um, 300. 300. Oh my God. I just, <laughs> yeah. Things are just happening. It's like, oh, it's math time. That's so cool. That's $5 All right. a month. Yeah. $25 okay. a month. Uh, bullshit, Ryan Reynolds. Bullshit. <laughs> it focuses on oh, your man, here. Twenty-five dollars a month. Why is he paying ten dollars more? Oh, so he's saying it's, it's a different plan. I, I get unlimited data, unlimited all, everything. Oh, but see, they don't they don't lay that down. They don't uh, explain that. He's not like he's not like. No, it's like it's like five bucks more, and you get it all. But so other I was like, just more. Uh, yeah so i was like just load me up give me all the stuff and then you know i pay you one time and i don't have to deal with you for another year so i don't know i think it's fine um and plus it, it uses like all the cell towers so it doesn't just like use one so i guess they licensed every cell tower in the planet so wherever you are yeah which that, is, that's that's the gimmick brilliant of being like a third party cell carrier like you don't you're not stuck to your own network you don't have any of the infrastructure um which is right right able to charge so little because they don't have to build anything maintain anything 
Right. And I might have a code. <laughs> I might have a little uh little code. It's it's like a sponsor all of a sudden, like sponsored by and if you sign up now, you'll get blah 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 free. <laughs> I think it's like you get um uh I just logged into my account. It says uh yeah, three hundred dollars a year. Yeah, it's exactly uh, I do about 15 gigs a month. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can find a code. I'm just joking. But anyway. Um, oh, no. Refer a friend. Here we go. I just found it. Uh, let's see. Um, share your link. Uh, there's not like a code. I have to give you a link. Okay, whatever. I doubt anybody cares at this point. But so... The movie, though, let's get back to that. I was going to say, Kerkoent78, if that's your real name. <laughs> and if that's how you pronounce that, I have no fucking idea. Anyways, says, I thought Free Guy would be good since uh, I really like Ryan Reynolds. Sucked. Just my opinion. Oh, really? So, um, if if you're a gamer and you like... Game. open world sandbox type games that are mmos i mean it's it's perfect because it's all the it, it's a joke on the npc that you always beat up and the the purpose of playing something like gta is so that you can go and just wreak havoc and shoot everything rob banks just blow up the uh i don't know fast food places and I don't know, just be dumb, right? And everybody has a little dialogue script that they do. They walk around town and they just repeat the same thing over and over, you know, because it's a game. And, you know, and this is basically that, right? So he's an NPC that becomes conscious, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like if you don't get the game, I guess even if you do get it and it sucks, then okay, then it sucks. But I don't know. I, I've been a long time gamer and it, it's like, oh, okay, that's a neat. But on the other side, the entire kind of narrative of the whole thing is a cross between the Truman Show and the Matrix. Already been done. There's nothing new in the movie. It's it's basically that you you take those. It, it's it's the finding out what what the real life is, right? What the true meaning of life is. It's one of those movies, but done in a fun way. So it's not very deep. <laughs> You're not gonna learn anything, but you know it's fun. So I liked it. Um, and it was accessible, right? It's very easy to um, get into and watch and understand. I mean, it's, yeah. And let's face it. Yeah. Most of those movies are just a vehicle for Ryan Reynolds to act like <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He can be zany. Right. Yeah. He could be wacky. Um, and the effects were obviously insanely crazy, like really, really. A lot of the shots were a hundred percent three D animated, so it's like I watched there... some behind yeah. the scenes of them um, shooting the action action sequence where he fights himself, but the he's like all oh the big buff guy, yeah, big yeah, buff guy, yeah. yeah. Um, so they you know they shot it with this big buff guy, and then um, they plastered his face onto the body using this special specially designed rig um, oh yeah interesting it was fun you know for, for those who are interested in filmmaking techniques and how how stuff is made um yeah okay so yeah it was that guy the yeah. buff guy he's got the blue t-shirt tattoo on his his pectoral uh <laughs> Oh, that's what the guy looked like in real life. Oh. Ah. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, it looked very real, but his face was like a little off. But I was like, wow, it, it's weird. It's, I knew it had to have been a blend of two things, but. Yeah, they just got a, they got a guy who, you know, <laughs> vaguely in the face might kind of resemble. Yeah, Ryan. right. Yeah. <laughs> same same basic, I guess, um, proportions, I guess, is what they were looking for. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> so they could easily map him onto him. Yeah. And, and the other joke is uh, skins, you know, like if you ever play MMOs and stuff like that, there's always wacky skins. You can skin your weapons, you can skin your character. So everybody's running around as like rabbits and weird, like just zany characters and stuff. And that's because of the whole microtransaction culture that is video games now. So there was a lot of like kind of jokes like for gamers to get or whatever. Um, dang, that guy is pretty big. <laughs> he's jacked. <laughs> right? I mean, and Ryan Reynolds is like, I think he's like my height, like 6'3", something like that. They, that guy's like 6'5", yeah. 6'6", six, six, something like that. Mm. And, and he's just enormous. <laughs> wow. There might be some some steroid illegal drugs involved there. Or may, I don't know. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can legitimately look like that without drugs all right <laughs> face it uh. um so uh yeah doesn't it age you like too like this guy could be like 18 years old <laughs> and he looks like he's 40 <laughs> you know like <laughs> i don't know about the aging but it does cause some serious health i think like heart problems and stuff like right that. yeah it speeds yeah. it up I mean, yeah, there's a it lot speeds of up your life. A lot of bodybuilders have like died of heart attacks and stuff like that. And even Arnold had a massive um, heart bypass surgery several years ago. Oh yeah, it was probably due oh. to the roids. Yeah, too much juice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Uh... Oh, oh, so the other thing was was the main event. Okay, here, let me uh, ah, let me pull this up. That, that was just like, it was a fun one. It that was, was the great. teaser. That was the appetizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This one is... No. Oh, this... I haven't watched it yet. Oh, no, you haven't? Ha have you watched... How in the world can you not watch it? I... It's like eight episodes deep. Eight or nine, I think. I know. Oh man, and it comes out every week, so it's like one of those you can't binge. I mean, well, uh, you can. At oh, point. right, because Hulu, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yes, I was immediately interested, but other people weren't. So, you know, it's like now I have to find time to watch it on my own. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So, Me and Kim have been watching it every every week. We're just like, oh my god, there's a new episode. There's only, I think, there's only two more. If you're caught up, I think there's two more and that's it. Or there's one more. I can't remember. So I remember seeing the, the trailer for the first time. And uh, like the first time I watched the trailer, I was, I it, it didn't click with me. Oh, yeah. Who the actors were. And then after I looked up who the actors were, I was like, holy fuck. They were awesome. Seriously? Because I would not have imagined that uh, it's Sebastian Stan, Sebastian Stan playing Tommy Lee. I, ne I never in a million years would have like pegged him, been like, yeah, he'd be a perfect Tommy Lee. Um, but like, uh, of course, in the show, not that I've seen the show, but like just from the trailer, he's, he's good, cool. man. He 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 does that little. The little lizard li li uh, liquor lip thing, you know, that uh, Tommy does. Oh, yeah. He has the whole, you know, all of the yeah, movements yeah. down. He has the inflections right. I, you can tell he's been training a lot and it's perfect. And, and Pamela is really good too, just her voice and just her mannerisms too, but her face, like her lips and stuff, like, it it just is okay. like sometimes we just forget when like I it's not Pamela. And I mm -hmm. saw like you know chick dressed like Pamela Anderson. I was like, holy fuck, who's this hot chick? <laughs> then I looked her up and I was like, what, what? Because uh, she was in Downton Abbey. Which oh, see, I didn't. I I had, I have no idea who she light, was or he was. Light years, you know, from this type of show. Okay. Completely different character. She, you know, she's British. She's demure and and, and very delicate and um and like uh, again, same thing with Sebastian Stan. I would not 
have expected, I would not have looked at Lily James and gone, yes, Pamela Anderson, because yeah, she does not have Pamela Anderson's body. Yeah. But they, I mean, it's, it's Hollywood for you, right? They, they designed the shit out of that. <laughs> they made her have that body. Right. I, I I felt like she did have her body actually. Cause I'm, I, I'm pretty certain that in real life she doesn't. Oh, okay. I mean, I just watched it. Like, I don't know anything about, I think they seriously pumped up her, her boobs. I mean, not she got a boob job for the, for the film. I'm, I think, you know, right. Did some lifting stuff and right. And shot know, it at different angles. And right. Maybe she, uh, you know, kind of went on a certain diet to kind of add some, <laughs> so so that's actually Tom and Pam uh, yeah, right yeah. there. And then they reenacted the part or uh, that picture, uh that last one that I clicked on that now I can't find it. Um Yeah, it it's okay. Here's the actors. Yeah, it's incredible. Like it's just uh it's really it's really fun to watch. So if, if you don't know. Um, it's, it, this is about the sex tape, Pam, Pam and Tommy, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, um, a tape got leaked if everybody, you know, in the nineties, I think everybody knows about that, but, um, and this is the, the semi true story behind it. I, I, it's from what I know, like every time we'll watch a, a episode, me and Kim are like, did that really happen? Bust out our phones and start Googling. It's like, Oh my God, that really happened. Cause there's lawyers involved. There's this and that there's penthouse, there's playboy. There's a lot of different people involved and it's like, wow, did this really happen? And every time we Google anything and it's like, Oh, it did happen. So, so far, everything I've, I've wondered about is true. So to my knowledge, everything I'm seeing is true. Um, you know, the big events, obviously not like dialogue and stuff. Uh, cause the big, it starts off pretty harsh and you really hate Tommy so the first episode's pretty. It really sucks you in. It's like, wow, what you you hate? Yeah, really? you really are not on Tommy's side. But then you get you get the full story, and you're like, okay, okay. So it's it's interesting. It's like, yeah. And I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, that's I, I, of course we we both remember this firsthand. We you know we were, I don't know, paying attention. We were alive. We were old enough to to know what was going on at the time when, when this was actually going on. Yeah. Um, and I guess at the time I just kind of thought, I don't know, Tommy Lee, obviously drummer for Motley Crue that we grew up loving. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just kind of like spoiled rock and roll douchebag. Yeah. He always kind of had that reputation Honestly, I think he's probably like w w the nicest of the guys in that band. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, so when you watch the first episode, you're like, oh my, like I, I had no idea, he, you know, he was like that. So it, it shocked me thinking, oh, I thought he was the nicest one in the band. And then you watch the first episode and you're like, Hmm. Okay. But this is in the nineties. This is like 95 or something. Yeah. So this is kind of, you know, it's a little after like, you know, girls, girls, girls and stuff like that. So, oh, I mean, yeah. that was like 87, 88. Something? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like, he's kind of, uh, he's kind of fading out right in the night in 1995. He's, well, he's in another band and you know, Pamela is on the upswing. She's, she's her. getting up. Everybody knows her name. This is true. She was yeah. doing the Baywatch thing. She had just come off the as as the Tool Time girl. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a it's a neat dynamic, and it's cool to see what happened in that time because I had no idea what was going on at that time. Um, I had a friend who downloaded the tape. Uh, I saw little pieces of it. <laughs> but that I I didn't remember at all, and but this like kind of like they 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 show you why they filmed it and how they filmed it and all this stuff anyway it's it's pretty wild it's pretty wild so um you know and it's probably 
you know, it seems like nothing you could do now because they're trying to sell the tape and make money off of it. But nowadays you can just copy stuff. You can stream stuff. It's really not a market anymore that you could do. Like when's the last time you ever bought like a physical media, right? I mean, people just don't do that anymore. So it's kind of a story of old, right? It's like, it couldn't really happen again. Well, I don't, know, I don't know, because, like, nostalgia is kind of a big thing. Yeah. Like, the whole vinyl, you know, resurgence people like. Yeah. Doing the whole vinyl thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, there is a... Oh, the, those those uh, those guys on YouTube that do the VHS stuff. Um, they interviewed us. Remember we were on their show? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're big into like going and finding old VHS tapes, and so I think there's a whole like subgenre in the world that's big into like media, yeah. like uh, like physical media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. But I mean, something like this where you're trying to capitalize. Like, I'm the only one who has this tape, so I'm going to sell it. I'm going to copy it a bunch of times and sell it to people. Well, I and... guess the modern equivalent of that would be an NFT, right? Yeah, exactly. It has to be a unique thing, right? It's like, but once you start selling this tape, people can take the tape and copy it. But yeah, with an NFT, the whole concept is they're numbered, right? So it's like the serial number, you have this one and you can't copy that serial number. There is only one of those in existence, but people don't care about that when it comes to media. I just want to watch the, you know, the content. I don't care about the serial number on the tape, you know? So, right. But, um, but it's a fun show. Um, you know, don't watch it with kids in the room. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> they, they like to, you know, they like to be rated R, so <laughs> there's nothing to hide there. So, but yeah, it's 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 pretty good fun. <laughs> and there's only two episodes left. I don't know if this is going to be a seasonal thing. It it it's a story that's told, right? There's there's no continuation. Like, it's it limited has to end, series. right? I mean, oh, it, did it say limited series? I think so. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Or else it's going to turn into a reality show or some lame or I don't know. It wouldn't make any sense. No sense. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it in the chat and I was like, we're uh, taking a minute. San Dimas High School football. Yeah. Love you guys. Winger yeah. fan one. Thank you for the yeah. uh, Winger fan one. Send him his football rules. <laughs> nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when are you gonna watch it? You gotta watch it right away. You gotta find time for it. Maybe uh maybe uh you know we log out tonight. I, I go settle down on the old couch and uh <laughs> give it a watch. Yeah, yeah, check out the first episode. Yeah, his voice is good too. See, so who is Sebastian? Like, I don't even know him from anything. Like, I've never seen him before. I don't think. Have you ever watched any Marvel movies? Yeah. Uh, then you. Oh, is he a Marvel actor? actor? He. Uh, oh. He's the Winter Soldier. What? Yeah, <laughs> he's the Winter Soldier. I thought that was some weird dude. Wait yeah, a minute. It is Sebastian Stan. What? Oh, Seth Rogen is in this movie too. I had no idea until I was watching. I'm like, what? That guy? I mean, it's funny. He plays actually a really good part. I don't want to ruin it, but uh, it's it's pretty epic what he plays. But um, uh, Sebastian Stan. Okay, here we go. All right, so um, Sebastian Stan. He looks like that. Yeah, they showed um, they showed him uh, the Winter Soldier. There, yeah, there you go. Wait, that's not Winter Soldier. Yeah, it is. See, you see his metal arm with the the. the oh arm yeah. Oh, I thought he was like Captain America. Well, he's Captain America. Um, he was Captain America's friend, Bucky. Oh, Bucky. That's Bucky. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> and then Bucky gets turned into the Winter Soldier. Oh, so and- I, I was thinking it was actually <laughs> Captain America. Of Captain America, because he's like the Soviet version of Captain America. Oh, there they are side by side. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was the other guy. Okay. Well, that's cool. I, I would ne- never have guessed because he just looks so nice and clean cut, you know, and like respectable. And then he's just like, hey, I'm yeah. Tommy, yo. <laughs> he does look like really? Sebastian. Yeah, he's got, he's perfectly named. Wow, that's crazy. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, isn't that wild? Isn't that freaking wild? Danish wild. Isn't that oh. lovely? It is lovely. Da-poro. Da-poro. Captain Crunch. So, uh, with my Sapporo tonight, what is Sapporo? What's everyone Sapporo. else drinking? Sapporo. I got um it's a it's Bud Light. Japanese beer and in fact i think the can uh kind of looks like winter soldier's arm <laughs> what no literally their their uh their logo is a red star and their can is like a an aluminum can oh really um uh, uh how do you spell that so sapporo Sapporo. P P O R O. Oh, okay. Let's see here. It's like a oh, pentagram. A yellow star. My bad. Okay, so it's just a star with some uh, some wheat or something. Yeah, it looks like wheat. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not an exciting logo or anything. But if you're ever at a uh, a Japanese steakhouse, man, that's uh that's what you order. Oh, okay. You order mm. yourself a Sapporo. And then you get the um Hey, there's the pentagram almost. It's got a circle around it. <laughs> and then you order the, the chicken and shrimp combination. And a Bud Light just in case the Sapporo sucks. Oh, Japanese egg roll. And he's rolling around the egg. <laughs> and then he cuts up an onion and stacks it and then puts a bunch of oil in it and sets it on fire. And oh, volcano. Ooh. And they flip things up and it lands on their hat. And then like, oh, and then they pretend to like spill stuff on you. And, and then you're like, oh. And he's like, ha, 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 ha. I didn't spill anything on you. Ha, ha, ha. Ching, 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 ching. Oh. That's my impression <laughs> of a Japanese snake house. Nice. I haven't been to one of those in forever. We have a friend a here year. in Atlanta. Uh, he and his wife love to do the whole Japanese snake house. Um, so we've been, we, we go several times a year. Really? Yeah. That's fun. Oh, JBJ uh, says the um, the commercials are epic. Ooh, I like that one with the woman with the open back dress. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's my speed. <laughs> are the videos? Are the video? Uh, let me let me do a search for uh, one of the videos. I don't think the audio, the sound is going to work, but at least we can get some sweet visuals here. Yo, e Honda. That's a pretty epic. Ding. <laughs> 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 
Legendary Biro. <laughs> com. That cam. <laughs> well, that was cool. Actually, those are pretty epic, right? It's just like a big art project. <laughs> and thank you, project. Jessica. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Inner icon. <laughs> Hey, we uh. can start a whole series where we just ADR um, <laughs> uh, well, not it's not really ADR. It's uh, well, some of it was ADR, but also um, Foley, where we Foley commercial. Foley, yeah. yes, yeah. Axel Foley. <laughs> Nathan Weston is all like, oh, elephant, uh, Adam's so funny. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> oh, E&D finally lost it. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> you guys are on to something now. I thought I thought we might be. I was thinking it. Something it, but past my my radar um i'm getting uh a lot of recommendations for uh flavor flav and public enemy on youtube all i did was watch one video uh, and it's like me, here's Flav. more flavor flav i'm like I, I don't really need any more but thanks <laughs> that's where you went wrong do you ever go to your history on YouTube and and delete videos from your history? No, I've never done that. It it removes them from the algorithm. So the algorithm is 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 uh, strictly looking at your history. So you can remove it. YouTube they... has started doing something that really fucking annoys me. Huh. It, on the on the one hand, I like it. On the other hand, it's like they didn't think it through. So, <laughs> you know, you can cursor over a video and it'll yeah. start playing it. Yeah, that's a new, yeah. And it, it'll it'll do subtitles so, so you can just read it. So you're not like, so it's not blasting at you. Um, well, what sucks is it does, that you hear it. Well, not on the web, but on, on like on uh, TV. Like when I'm using my Amazon Fire Stick, oh, oh, it starts playing it. I'm like, that's I only, weird. I only do it on, on on the web, but anyway, okay. it, it'll do like closed captioning, right? So I can, right. I can read what they're saying. Okay, yeah, Here's yeah. The part that, I, that I love, I love that because I'm like, what is this video about? Because I don't want to commit to it. I just want to know. Yeah, is it is this I just a talking head or is it like B-roll or like yeah. what is this? Yeah, like yeah, I, I dig that. Yeah. Most of the time it's like it's a it's a thumbnail with some scantily clad girl and I'm like, "What what is this video really is that they actually going to show her or, you know?" All right. You no, know, or am I going to waste my time here? Um <laughs> but here's the thing. If you linger on that video too long 
it puts it in your history. Yeah. You watched it. Yeah, it sucks. No, I did not watch that video. I previewed it. <laughs> I did not click. Yeah. No clicky. I've noticed that. And that's when I start deleting my history too. I'm like, I did not watch that Logan Paul video. I just, <laughs> I just l- was, wanted to see. <laughs> do not punish me for my curiosity. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. They should fix that. Mm. You can turn your history off. I use my history. Yeah, I I like my history. I I always go through. I use YouTube to research stuff a lot. Yeah, same. I, I, I need to be able to go back. Yeah. And re reference that video. And most of the time, the only way I can do that is through my history because I can't remember who the I don't ever pay attention to like oh what is this channel I was at you know or what were the keywords I used to find the video exactly yeah I'm very patient I'll like type in keywords and I will scroll forever yeah and then find a video that I was like oh that has information that I I wanted mm-hmm. um, yeah right right now I have three videos I need to watch that are sitting and waiting for me in my history. And what I do is I just watch a second of it, hit pause, watch a second of this, hit pause, watch a second of that, hit pause. And I was like, after the show tonight, those are going to be waiting for me. So I, then I use that. And there is a watch later thing, but I don't like that. I was just about to say, yeah, they they actually thought of that, but I don't know. It's not implemented very well, especially because I use use a lot of, um, web, you know, like TV type stuff, streaming, and it's not too compatible with a lot of devices. So, but yeah, so yeah, the history is cool. And then I'll turn it off on different accounts that just, it's just pointless to have. Like, I think we have it turned off for this chant, this one right here that you're watching right here, because we don't really use this one, right? I mean, we don't, we don't use this one to watch videos. But if we do, like, like, actually, I use this channel to watch 80s commercials when I'm downloading stuff yeah. and I'm, you, you know, using stuff for videos that we're going to use. That way it doesn't, like, think that I'm only into 80s commercials on my personal account because I'll be like, dude, <laughs> like, stop showing me archives of 80s commercials. I don't want to sit around watching these all day. Like, so, yeah. So Randomly, multiple accounts. I don't know yeah. how this happens, but every once in a while, I will get logged into this account and yeah. not realize it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and then yeah. I'll I'll open up YouTube and it'll be listing all these. I'm like, oh, this is a strange list. <laughs> right. This isn't my normal stuff. Huh. Interesting. And then like I'll <laughs> I'll like get going on YouTube for a, a minute and then I'll, I'll see that little icon in the corner of the two of us. I'm like, fuck, no, this isn't, you know, fuck, <laughs> yeah. now I've watched like half a video on here and it's not going to be in my history. It's going to be in this Yeah, history. it's not being log, recorded. Log, log out, log out. Okay. You're like in an alternate universe, like right. a parallel universe. <laughs> like... <Yeah. laughs> that is weird. Yep. It happens, man. Any plans to watch the documentary about the station night club fire? Um, oh, I didn't know there was a documentary on that. Let me find that real quick. That's a good. Yeah. Station. Have I, have I, I, I've seen, I've seen the video of the fire itself. Yeah. We, we watched like, um, yeah, it was just like the news which was just fucked up. It's fucked up that like it was captured. Yeah. You know? A short documentary. No, this isn't it. This is this is what we watched. Yeah. This is actually what we watched because see, look, it is there. Uh, so for those who don't know, this was a, a fire that started in 2008 um, that uh, completely- Great it, White. Uh, yeah, Great White was playing. And it cleared out the whole place. Everybody started running. People got trapped. There was a lot of deaths happening. And it was a real tragedy. Um, just kind of skimming through it right now. Oh, wow. Is that a floor plan? Ugh. Jeez. 
Um, wow, look at that. So w when the fire uh, first started, they, they didn't really know what was happening. It, it was a cause of um, pyrotechnics. And uh, it started burning the walls or burning the ceiling or something like that. And people started to kind of go, hmm, should we leave? Or like, uh, what's going on here? And then there was a mad rush for the door. So. Yeah, and then it was a panic. And wow. But yeah, it was a uh, crazy stuff. But anyway, so so there's a there's a documentary, like a legit new documentary about it. I didn't know about that. I had to check that out. I will check it out. You know who else is gonna check it out? Johnson. I know. <laughs> Johnson. I feel something in our future. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, John. Say he said the this history discussion reminds me of the hotel checkout scene in Rat Race, where he was challenging the changes for the in room movie. Rat race. Oh, wait, what was that one? Uh, oh, yeah, 2001. Was that? <laughs> oh, wait, is this the movie you're talking about? Is that supposed to be um, Lucille Ball? <laughs> yeah, I think it's. I think it's kind of Lucille. I mean, Ball it kind of. Kind of looks like her. The Las Vegas Casino Magnate. Magnate? Mad, magnate? What is that word? Uh, determined to find a new avenue for wagering. Sets up a race for money. What is this? I don't think I've ever. Reminds me of the hotel checkout scene. <laughs> they were running out what, was the place on fire <laughs> i've never even heard of this movie that's funny so mandy is talking about the mask in, in atlanta this legendary uh legendary. Club that was tragically turned into condos um like everything else in fucking atlanta <laughs> uh, but uh, I never worried about the masquerade burning down. I worried about the fucking floor falling through. Um, oh, geez, you know, yeah. There, and it was it was not like that club. That club, like, like my head would probably be touching the ceiling at that club. You know, where great. Oh uh, yeah. The masquerade was big, huge ceilings. It, it was it was pretty big. But like, man. You get a good crowd in the masquerade and people get to going. Oh, yeah. The masquerade. The floor going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there was. Um, I, I remember seeing like uh, a while ago, it was like some uh, floor collapses from like, like a university, and they just all suddenly they're all on the first floor. Like here they are. Boom. They all fall down all of a sudden. It's like, whoa, what are we doing down here? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of videos of floors collapsing. I mean, you know, only when there's like 150 people like pounding on the floor. Would not want to do that. This one's from oh. Nathan Weston. I still wonder what Daryl's looking at there. He hates me playing the guitar. <laughs> That's what he's going to get all night long. <laughs> all night long. Also, he's he's going to get, um, let's say something else too that might be kind of cool. Let's see, let me give him a... Um, Give him uh, Daryl. 
<laughs> Might be time for credits. <laughs> so my mom comes on. She's like, hi, boys. I mean, we're 45 years old, 45, 46, something. Are we ever not going to be boys anymore? <laughs> I mean, oh, when when Daryl's that old right there, is it still going to be, hi, boys? <laughs> <laughs> I like how my one little twig is still like. Color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, Eric's 45. I'm 46. Oh, yeah. I have to catch up. Yeah, that's right. I, for, I forget about that because uh, I'm a little bit off. Yeah. That's a good song. Oops. I was reading. <laughs> so, first one to guess what movie this is from. <laughs> Not the song, but the credit. <laughs> got a little cough. I think I'll be a hundred percent by Monday. What's the next music video we're gonna do? I just love doing music videos. There, what's gonna be yeah I was thinking that I was watching the Cinderella thing again I was like yeah we should do more of these they're just so much fun to do yeah super fun yeah <laughs> yeah probably uh, the ballads are great there's so many good ballads there's so many I mean there's so many good songs all around I don't know we shall see you know there is a nice nails uh, music video for a song that's on the downward spiral album and that I never finished. So there's a couple of like unfinished vi music videos that might be interesting to finish nowadays. Uh, let's see. Does anyone know what movie this is from? I left the cast in this time just because, you know, just to give you a little, little hint, clues. It does have John Cusack in it, so you know it's a good one. To what are you speaking of? What? Oh! The movie. The credits! Yeah, the credits. That's what you're going on about. That is. Yeah, we got to um, put out a video this week, too. What video are we going to put out this week? Oh. We shall do something. And also still have that episode. Uh, would everybody be cool with um, like a random call-in show, you know, at some point? You know, we've been streaming for over a year. And uh, never had a call-in show. No one's ever called in. This is true. So I'd love to do some sort of something like that. Um, that would be... Wow. So oh. Was in this movie? I see. Say anything. Bob got it first, kind of almost, because he said sat anything sat anything <laughs> and then and then zon 
eight five said sat anything again, which is weird. It's like so close. And then he, oh, and then Zan eighty five said say anything, and then Angela said say anything. So I think Zan eighty five in an IHOP, uh, you know, swings in, tries to insult me, uh, can't type with shit, and then has to correct himself uh, because Daryl sniffs backs, uh, b- balls, balls. <laughs> it's punch when you do that, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> sniffs back. <laughs> he sniffs uh, back. Try again. Yeah, He's a back really... sniffer. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But hey, we're out of credits, and uh Zan is the winner. And um and if someone got it before him, I'm sorry. But hey, there's always next uh in two weeks, we'll be back here for more action in a fortnight. In a fortnight. Okay. <laughs> is. We're not parachuting out of anywhere. And... <laughs> the game kind of sucks. Have you, ever, have you ever played Fortnite? I've never. I've never even seen. Well, okay, that's not true. I, I've seen. I've seen it referenced in videos where people are talking about it. It's even referenced in Free Guy in the movie. But I've I've never like loaded it and like just even watched the like intro screen. Oh, okay. Nothing. <laughs> You're not missing much. Well, everybody, we'll see you next time. Maybe Larry will show up. Who knows? Maybe you'll have internet again. So uh, we'll see you. Have a good night and a good week. And saying truce bis done. What he said. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>